Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to identify the pin assignment on a Lips Inverter. Um, uh, Lips Inverter stands for Light Independent Power Supply, uh, which is inverter and power supply, the both circuit built in the one modules here. Uh, this is our controllers. This is all universal kits comes with the wire harness, one end connected to here, the other end uh, you could wire up to uh, whatever the, your pin assignment is. Okay. So, um, this is actually 17 inch Dell, and that I'm using as a demonstration for this video because uh, it's using a Lips inverter. Some of the screw I already took it out, and uh, um, you know, to identify a pin assignment, the easiest way is you know, use a uh, uh, meters and like a uh, the same procedure like a standalone inverter, but it requires a little bit more work for this one because. This inverter because we had to took some component out of the way in order to mount the inverters. Okay, first uh, I took some screw out already, so but this one I need to take out the, the uh, backlight connectors. Okay, and all right, take it out. All right, so set aside a screen. This is a uh, Lips inverter. This is a logic board. So uh, we need to uh, take it out and look at it and then the measure the voltage because this is, uh, let me take it out and uh, well, uh, to identify the pin assignment on this Lips inverter, first thing we need to do, identify the supply voltage. Usually it would be, um, you know, if you measure this caps, can caps, you should be able to find out uh, what the voltage is. Secondly, most importantly, we need to find out what is the enable voltage. By doing so, and you had to uh, wire up, uh, uh, you know, a, to a, um, to apply the power, and then to measure the voltage on this connectors, okay? So let's do this. Okay, all right. Connect the VGA to this, make sure it stays on, and connect the power supply, connect the power. Be, be, be really careful on this lips inverter because you don't want to touch the section and get zapped, okay? So be really careful, and uh, first, get a piece of paper and pen, and uh, when we do the measurements, okay? All right, so, oops, here, hopefully you can see it here. So we're gonna do the measurements. Alright. Now remember the chassis is not been turned on yet. So and then we just connect to any ground and do the measurements and then we cut the voltage on this connectors. 5 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt. This is standby voltage. 5 volt. 0 Zero, 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 zero volt. Now, the mesh that's we already call it. The first one, two, three, four, five. The first four pin has voltage about five five point two. So without before we turn it on. So now let's turn on the chassis, the monitors. When it's, when it's on, the indicator light stay on. Okay, now it's on. Let's do measurement again. 5 volt, 2 5 volt, 5 volt, 5 volt. No voltage, no voltage, no voltage. No, no, no. Now this pin has 3.2, 2.8, so let's shut it off again. On last two pin, um, measure again because first four is a standby. Even though a, the 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 display is on and off, it on or off, they have five volt, five volts. So we're gonna measure the last two pins. No voltage, no voltage. Oh no, I'm sorry. The last one has 3.2 when it's off. So when you turn it on, it's still 2.8, but the second one, 2.2. Now, now see, this one, the last 
Now the last one, the one before last pin, just memorize. 3.2 when it's on, shut it off, see off. No voltage, but the last pin still had a voltage. So that means the last pin before the last pin, this pin is a enable voltage you can use because when you turn it on, it has a 3.2. When you shut off, 3.2 disappear. So we now we identify the 3.2 enable voltage. Next thing, we need to identify the supply voltage. Again, be careful. You just measure all these caps, you know, because I, uh, you just saw the previous week clips that uh, we have removed this, this, and then mount the inverted, uh, converted uh, LED driver here. So you have to measure either this, this, two capacitors, or this, two capacitors. First, okay, again, you're gonna turn it on, right? Okay, connect black pole to any metal part to ground, to power ground, and you measure this, you know this capacitor here, 24 volt, zero. This one, this two, it's, where is the capacitor? Oh yeah, 24 volt, 24 volt. So they know, let's shut off to measure again. Shut off. See, even though you shut off, still have 24 volt supply. Confirm again, turn it on. Yep, so anyway, so we identified this supply voltage is 24 volt and we can use this this pin as an enable and uh, don't worry about it because most, most of the, the lips inverter they have uh, 12 volts but this one 24 volts is okay because actually our our LED can handle driver can handle between 10 to 24 volts so basically you just saw it by you simply using a meter you identify the ground uh, 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 well the last thing I forgot to show you is that let me disconnect it no you already can 24 volt guang you can just use in and uh, you know uh, uh, the negative of the cap and this is gonna be guang so basically uh, it's the lips inverters are a little bit difficult to to uh, identify pin assignment based on the vision inspection compared with the stand alone inverters so you have to use a meter and uh, it's a little bit more time and tricky but uh, it's doable just remember Always use your meter to measure the voltage and record the voltage and compare it by turning on and off. Then you can easily identify the enable voltage and the supply voltage. Thank you for watching.